What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, here we are. We have the Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. It's a 4-inch. It's portable, cordless. All right. It's got the 20-volt battery. Comes with a nice hard case. I've seen some online where they're paper, cardboard. This one was sent out to High Ridge Handyman for a quick review, and we're going to give it a shot. All right, so let's get to it. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. Okay, after on uh, taking the plastic off, let's see what we have here. Let's right, just see. It says open, so I guess you'll keep it on this side here. Clips are a little flimsy, you know, plastic, but not too bad. It keeps the box closed. Right, what do we got here? Right. Maybe it should have been open this way. I don't know. So what do we got? We got the saw itself. Got a little guard here for your hand. I'll tell you what, it feels pretty good. It's got a little bit of a hard rubber handle. All right, it's got the chain guard here. What this is for, if you're cutting like another regular chainsaw, you're cutting into something and it, you have a kickback, it'll protect you. You know what I mean? You want to keep that on there comes with the battery let's see does the battery have an indicator light uh, I don't see an indicator light let's put that down look it came with two batteries look at that that's nice it's always a benefit to have more than one battery all right we got two batteries we got the saw Here we go, you have your instruction manual. You wanna read through that, all right? What do we have here? Nothing there. We have a little bit, looks like a little wrench. I would imagine it would fit here. Yeah, this will, so you can tighten up your chain and stuff. And then you have the charger. All right, I see how this is. So it's a regular basic plug with a port. And then the port just goes into here. So what you want to do is you take your charger, the charger has a light on it here, it's red, it means it's charging, when that thing turns green, this battery will be fully charged, so let's leave it up here, let it charge, and we'll go over this thing a little bit. I'll tell you, it's the Saker, alright, you got a caution on there, obviously don't touch the guard, alright, you got this little protection here for your hand which I like let me plug the battery in and see how it feels with the weight remember anytime you're dealing with any kind of uh, blades or saws or anything keep your hands away from it when you put your battery in all right yeah it feels good kind of equals out the weight and this thing is light let's see if it works here you got a safety button you're gonna have to hold in hold this in and pull pull, pull the trigger at the same time all right so it looks like we got us a full battery so let's take this bad boy let's take it outside and see how she works before running out to cut a branch, I just figured I want to give you the actual size with a tape measure so you know what you're dealing with, okay? So, right here, you're looking at about almost four inches, about ah, three and a half, four, eh. if you want to get technical, three and seven eighths across. The blade itself. A little over four it's about four almost four and a half all right and then you got from the the handle to the blade okay you're looking at about 12 you add that battery it's almost 13 inches the handle itself Comes to about four and a half inches, you know, from that top part. The, the smaller part at the bottom, it's only about three. 
but I got I got nice size hands and this fits me well all right I got to use extra extra size gloves but I don't have a problem with this thing all right let's get out there and check the uh, branches and see how they do before we head out looking for a branch I thought we'd try something a little bit easier everybody knows what this is you've seen this it's a two by four so let's give it a shot nice you could even use this for when you finish doing a fence job and you got your four by fours and you have to cut them even you go up there and cut those bad boys even let's give it another pass let's turn it on its side here Did you see that? The reason I turned it on its side is I wanted to see the guard and how it operated. Let's try one more time. See it? Nice. I'll tell you, this little thing packs a punch. All right, let's go check out and see if we can find some branches. All right, now that I grabbed a piece, all right, let's set it up. We'll set it up right on this chair here just to hold it in place. Let's we'll see how this thing cuts. So you're looking at, I'd say about a two, two and a half inch diameter. All right, obviously you wanna use eye protection, all right? It also states that you want to put a few drops of oil on here because this unit does not do self oil like a regular chainsaw. There's nowhere to put oil. So you want to drop some oil, a few drops of oil on the blade when you're using it, okay? So let's give it, let's give it a shot and see how she cuts. Not bad. I'll tell you what. For a homeowner, a do-it-yourselfer, this thing is very light. You have to cut some uh, limbs, two, three, four inch limbs, you can get away with it. Let's try it again. Nice. Bounces around a little bit, but that's fine. What's nice is if you want to do some pruning and you have two or three to four inch limbs and you want to prune, you just reach up and give it a pruning. Let's see if we can cut this branch that's hanging. Well, it's actually hanging, bro. Like a little branch like this. It's like, it's like butter. If you have property like this, like so many others, you have two to three inch saplings coming up and they're just a little too thick for your lopping shears, this thing works perfect. The 20 volt Saker, it's a four inch electric handheld chainsaw. Let's go up and take a look. Let's see how this thing works out here. Let's go down low. Look at that. Boom. Two seconds there. Look at that. Two seconds. We got another one here. We're going to reach in. Look at that guy. Down. Not a two, two and a half inch. So what we do is just to break it down to make it easier to get rid of it. Yeah. 
cut it in pieces. Pretty impressed with this little tool. I was surprised. Um, this little strap it comes with. My hands are big. You're not even going to need this. Me, I reckon. I may. I'm going to cut mine off. I don't need this. But yeah, go out and grab yourself the Saker. It's the four inch. Very affordable. I'll leave, put the link in the description below. You can see before you do anything with that blade. It's a little bit loose. Just remove the battery. You're going to push this. It's going to slide right off. Okay, slides off. This chain, after usage, loosens up a little bit, which is fine. And that's what this wrench is for. You're going to loosen it. You pull the chain out just a bit. You're going to give it another tighten. Tighten it back up. And again, you're going to want to put some oil on it, okay? That's it. Saker. It's durable. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Now, what do we got to do now? Sonny! Sonny? Are you in there, Sonny? Let's go look for him. Yes, yeah, Sonny. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me My thoughts get so bad, I'm like I might grab a bat, I don't know My wrath, my blood boils over like Oh God